Adobe RoboHelp's frameless layouts provide search answer boxes and smart design options. In RoboHelp's easy-to-use, responsive HTML5 frameless layouts, each topic has a unique and simpler URL, making for better search engine optimization and a best-in-class search experience. A home page option provides for a more open and contemporary web interface. There's also a section for special features and what's new. And for anything that the user can't find at the ready, there's always search. If I type in, if I'm ill, do I still get a paycheck? Not only do I get over a dozen results, but the best answer shoots right to the top. And the results are displayed in a separate search answer box. This is a great example of the micro content capability inside of RoboHelp. The author can prepare frequently asked questions as well as use artificial intelligence to bring up the right set of responses to every question. To create the perfect layout for your organization, you'll start in the output pane. Looking at the templates, we can add a new template for Frameless and bring up the new Frameless template dialog. You can choose from any of these including this orange layout, which is quite clean, and a top navigation layout that has a more traditional top of page navigation with drop-down menus. This layout is also 508 compliant and WCAG compliant as well. I'm going to customize the studio layout that we've been looking at every once in a while in this lesson. I'll edit the studio demo template and then weave through the available options. Here is where I ensure that my skin is responsive. And here is where I ensure that I have GDPR data regulation compliance. Sharing options for social sites. And Mini TOC allows me to set up which headings are automatically generated into Mini TOCs within my project. Similarly, I have individual home page options and topic page options, all with live preview. Once my template is set, I can also go through and export it, sending it to everybody within my organization that needs to create new projects. After that, anyone with access to my studio demo template can create an output preset that's frameless. And relies upon the template that I just created. Now that we've looked at the skin editor, let's take one more look at Studio. We've got an SVG logo right here, a custom font and color, and our homepage layout that we looked at in the editor. Down at the bottom, we have featured articles for this week, and of course we have the search bar. Going into Human Resources and Disciplinary Procedure, we have our topic layout with bookmarks and links over here. We're over on the right. We have our heading two through four that generated the automatic TOC or the mini TOC on the right. Checking different window sizes. We can see what this would look like on a tablet and also on a phone. The responsive layout not only adjusts to the new window size, but at specific thresholds, it will change the layout entirely. In this case, accommodating more of a phone resolution. For a personalized demo or questions, please write to us, techcom at adobe.com.